Welcome to Sunrise, Florida. You're about to see the two council members on the left-hand side get into heated discussion about a sergeant who put his hands on another officer while on duty. The councilman that's second to the left is a criminal defense attorney, and the man that's about to speak is the union representative, and according to his LinkedIn, a police officer with the city of Sunrise. Now, if you haven't seen the video about the sergeant, I'll put the link in the description. It's been shared worldwide, and the officer is now facing potential criminal charges. Uh, thank you for hearing me today. I'm here to defend the letter that I wrote to the city commission and city managers reference to recusing Chief Rosa from an active investigation, administrative investigation. I am a labor union president. I am not an attorney. So I have to make sure that there are certain contracts, policies, and um, Chapter 112 under Florida State Statute is being followed. By now, everybody has heard of qualified immunity. If you haven't, I'll do a video on that later. In the Florida statute, there's an extra layer of protection for officers when they're under investigation. It's called the Bill of Rights. It's under the 112 statutes as he mentioned here in the video. Many times officers are rehired after an investigation even though they've been seen on video doing what they were alleged to have been done. And it's all because their Bill of Rights had been violated and the investigation was botched. Many times I wonder if investigations are intentionally botched to get an officer back on the job. And that's what this union rep is alleging in here, that his rights are violated. In this case where the violation was more of when Chief Rosa went to a rope, rope patrol briefing and had discussions with witnesses in there. But Looking at it from our standpoint as a labor union, you have our juror stating that the subject person did certain things, inappropriate, disgusting, wrong, and in any trial, if you heard that from a juror, you would recuse him immediately. And that's where the letter comes into play. There's, uh, there's questions about where this all came from, it was a poll done through Road Patrol. 95% of my members said they want this addressed because they feel affected. And when I say members, I'm talking about Road Patrol specific because that's where everything arises from. But Chief Rosa is saying he's a witness to it, he's a complainant to it, he's our judge and jury. He is way too involved and that's where it comes from. And that's what I want to state for the commission and city managers to see if there's a way of doing this. And if there's not a way, I think we should relook at this code because what would happen in another case, in another case where he's directly involved, there should be someone else that he could push that off to to pass those final determinations. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Commissioner Douglas, hang on, there's some comments and questions for you. Uh, Mr. Negron, who do you have us pass it off to? I would leave that for the chief to pass it off to. I understand he's a charter officer, and that's where it becomes a little difficult. Um, I would say pass it off to a city manager, but I know that we've reviewed the code, um, and they're saying that it can't be done. So that's where I come into saying we should fix this code. So um, is it your awareness that the chief was on scene that day? It is not my awareness. I was not working that day. How would you describe what happened that day if it were you? Would, would disgusting not be part of your um, vocabulary? If... What about if, wrong? You're would asking you have, as far would, as if I was a chief and presented what would you it? have called it? What's that? Would you have called it wrong? What you saw in that video? The what actions. The I, well, I, again, I am a neutral party in it. I wouldn't make I wouldn't make any statements as far as what's wrong or right because I'm just looking out for all employees involved. Everyone on that video is an FOP member, so I'm not here to state who did right and wrong. What about the right, young lady who got choked? Are you looking out for her interest? I, I'm, again, I am looking out for everyone's interest. This is more about a broad scale internal affairs investigation to make sure it's handled correctly. I'm not in it for any which way of whatever officers, I believe there are six or seven officers that are in that video. I'm not here for any one of them. I'm not their attorney. I'm just a labor union making sure it's a fair process. You know, Mr. Negron, I used to be a labor union leader myself. and. I, I, I sympathize with you because there are some times when people do some things that I couldn't defend. And I had a challenge because I felt I had to defend it just because I'm the union guy. But there are some things that are just indefensible. Now, mind you, I'm not a police chief, so I get to say whatever I want. You see, my pulse is the people's pulse. And if anybody thinks that there's any other description for what happened out there that day but being at least wrong, Maybe they need to be looking for another department to work for. Maybe the city has outgrown them. It was wrong. I can call it that. As expected, this councilman knows what everybody else knows. It's wrong. It's wrong on all sides. It was captured on camera, and it's just wrong. But the labor unions and their affiliates have to defend these officers that do this. 
they'll find any way they can to get them off of this, or as they claim, a fair investigation. I hear road patrol is mad about it, so they want it dealt with. I don't know. Um, I don't know what number makes up road patrol, the 90% you're quoting. Uh, I, I think I would gamble if I were a gambling man that most of your membership does not agree with what happened out there that day. I don't believe we can recuse the chief. What I can do is fire the chief if I don't like how he's running the department, but I can't recuse him from a purely law enforcement prerogative. Um, so that's how I can exercise my power to give oversight to the chief in the department. Commissioner Scudo. First of all, I want to personally thank you for coming here tonight to give um, a brief little synopsis of what you do and where you are because you represent the men and women. The five of us are the bosses to the five chartered offices that work for this city. The problem that I seen by you coming here is now to have the five of us have an opinion, mm -hmm. okay? Five of us to have an opinion whether this was right, whether this was wrong, or whatever. To me, this is an ongoing investigation, and I don't have an opinion for it. Sometimes other agencies turn it over to FDLE or turn it over to whoever. If the chief is not to do this, and he passed it, I don't know, I'm saying, I don't know the legal part of it. I, I'm just saying. All right, I'm talking. I don't want you to get into it. Right, right, because I like you tonight. I don't want to start a fight with you. So I'm saying I don't know if it's the right thing to pass it to the, to the city manager. In terms of your members' posture right now, you, you're here because you wanted us to recuse the chief from the internal investigators. And I... I the mayor referenced a criminal investigation that has begun its public knowledge. Does that not toll the uh, internal affairs investigation as you are aware? Yes, so, but then it's an administrative investigation, so it's paused right now, but it will continue, and I just want to make sure we don't have any further violations within there. Uh, so, by violations, you're saying we should tell the chief that, uh, you know, he should shut his mouth in the department and a gag order would be nice if, if uh, he's going to give talk to witnesses. Uh, uh, is this the first time um, a, a police officer has been investigated by internal affairs? Uh, no, it is not. And I'm not questioning as far as the investigation process or anything, and I'm not questioning anything of him releasing the video. But, you know, I'm just questioning what is said and making sure it's going to be a fair and impartial process. She was a female. She was a female. Ooh, you know, whichever way you slice it and dice it, it, it there's, there's just no getting around the fact that it, it looks terrible, whatever description the chief gave to it. So, yes, I do support the chief's position. I would have said it stronger. You all know me. I have no filter. I just want to say it's amazing how everybody spun this their own way. But the fact was a 911 call came over of a piece of shit beating up somebody. And then this is how it all started. That's the sad part of this. It got thrown on to this and spun in a way that's so ridiculous right now. And you heard that right. The words out of this commissioner's mouth that this was spun into some ridiculousness. The officers had him under control, bringing him into the police car. And then the sergeant had to intervene. Now we talked about transparency. The police chief failed to release the audio, but something triggered the female officer to pull that sergeant out of that car. So it is like beyond. The guy who was being arrested for this? No, I'm not. I'm just saying, but well, nobody knows the whole story. Okay, they're only looking at that one piece of the video. Well, the they don't know the what whole video. What are you talking about? There is no the difference than there's no difference of a call or last week. You see him beating up somebody? No, I don't even want to oh, look God. at the video. Okay. Last week, we had another about? incident where a girl cop is fighting with another person. I mean, come on, this could be in every scenario. Okay, you guys all of my colleagues not to interrupt me. About all these other cases and George Floyd, what does that have to do with it? Yeah, I'm come sure on. George Floyd was a piece of shit who caused them to yeah, kill Yeah, okay, him whatever. All right. You guys are just making a story into 
oh god, the guy came up here to ask us what the process was. He came and up you, here, right, to ask Nobody us what the new process here. could what be. What are you defending? I'm not defending anything. He wanted to see what other process could we send it to FDLE. That was what he was asking. Joey, so shut up. So the question, don't tell me to shut up. I'm telling you to shut what up. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to recess if you're going to, you guys. Don't tell on. me to shut up. Who guys. do you think you are, tough guy? Okay. You're, you're nobody to me, okay? I'm you're just a commissioner. Just exactly. I know you're nothing. Exactly. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, are we concluded? Well, yeah, the question was, what can you change this to? And can it be passed to FDLE? I mean, is that another scenario? That's all I'm asking. That was what I thought we was, that was what his main thing was. And then everybody went into their own opinions about the whole damn thing. I'm sure none of this bothers you. I forgot you're from the old school too, 27 all right, all years right. of it. Assistant Deputy Mayor. No, let's do this, let's keep, let's keep the professionalism. I have no interest in there, moving this. There are some days when the decorum has to go through the No, ne never. No, no, I don't agree with yeah, that. Yeah, just no. like you when yeah. you do it. Yeah. I don't agree. Most of the times you do it from your speaker when you're not in front of us. But I'm standing right here. You can do whatever you want to me. You All can right. take this plexiglass right. down and try to do All whatever right, you gentlemen, want. All right, gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. We're, do I need to take a recess? Yes, I'm going Deputy Mayor. I just want to say, the public is watching, and when one speaks, they speak on behalf of the commissioners, and I personally am speaking on behalf of myself that regardless of who was arrested or not arrested, I would never and I do not support the word of being a piece of shit. That's very upsetting to me. So regardless of how you feel, I think that was very bold and it was not okay. That's my opinion. So if that family is watching, because I'm sure it's going to get back to the family, I apologize for that comment. I don't. All right. Thank you. Ma'am. Yes, yeah, so let's take a brief recess.